Hello, my name is Andrew Powell here for another demonstration video after a very long time. In this video, basically I'm showing off a project that I did for a class that I took last semester called Digital Image Processing. Uh, for the final project, I had to implement a digital in-painting algorithm. That's what, that, that was my topic for my final project. And in this demonstration video, I'm going to show how in-painting can be used to remove objects from an image. Uh, for those who don't really know, quick concise summary of in-paintings basically we have an image and there's a portion of it that we want to remove completely without using information within the portion that we're trying to remove in other words we're only taking the known, known portions of the image to reconstruct the portion that we're trying to remove the portion that we're trying to remove is just going to be called uh, the in-painting region and the portion that's outside of the in-painting region I'm just going to refer to as the known, the known portion of the image uh, this demonstration video is going to consist of a program that I did for the final project, um, which is open as you see here. Uh, before I begin, just a little description at, as to what you guys are looking at. In the upper right hand corner we have the demonstration video, which is just capturing a live video feed. Um, any second now I'm going to click it and it's going to freeze and then I can use the mouse here to select which portion I want to remove. In the bottom right hand corner we have the quote unquote occlusion window and essentially all that's showing is a mask that represents the portion of the image that I'm trying to remove. In the bottom left hand corner we have a console of course. This is just going to tell us information as to how the algorithm is actually progressing. In the upper left hand corner finally, this is where you actually see the action. Uh, as it continues you'll see the painting algorithm at work. Unfortunately, the algorithm itself does not run instantaneously, so it will take maybe a minute or so for it to complete. So, without further ado, and since it does take a bit for it, since it does take some time, I'll try to explain some information as to how the algorithm works. However, all the details are going to be in the paper I wrote, which I'll post online, and I will mention the papers from which I reference to do the algorithm. So, uh. For the first thing I'm going to remove, I'm going to start with the pen first, since that's the simplest of the two things. Afterward, I'm going to do my keys on the right. So I'm going to go ahead, select the pen. And as you can see, it already updated in the bottom right. And if you look at the upper left, you can see the image starting to be removed slowly. But the two papers from which I reference are I'm not going to try to pronounce any of the author's names because I, I know I'll butcher those names, but the first paper, a pretty common paper, I found just by reading through a bunch of blogs, but the paper itself is, is entitled Region Filling and Object Removal by Exemplar Based Image and Painting. Um, it's really just a uh, small summary on that paper. The paper mainly focuses on one area of in painting where the whole goal is to in paint using textures as the basis, meaning we want to take patterns that you see in an image, for instance, if you look at the desk, you can see the texture on the desk, we want to use that as a basis for, for, for performing the in-painting algorithm. And uh, the second paper that I mainly reference from is entitled Image in Painting Using a Modified Can Hilliard Equation. Um, I can actually pronounce this author's name, Gillette but essentially it's a it's a lot different from the previous approach that relies on textures this approach takes advantage of a mathematical model that was used in in physics years ago to model model a certain kind of degradation that would happen when you melt down two metal alloys um, two scientists uh, their names are Cand and Hilliard and Hilliard respectively but Apparently that same model is applicable in image and painting. And uh, as you can see, the algorithm just finished. But just to finish my last thought, uh, the person who implemented the, the can Hilliard equation into in painting realized that you can use it. And fortunately enough, there's fast solvers that exist to make it run really quickly. So I'm kind of using both the, the differential, the partial differential approach introduced are reintroduced, I should say, in the image in painting using a modified Canhilliard equation paper, but then I'm also using the textural-based approach 
that's proposed in the paper entitled Region Filling and Object Removal by Exemplar Based Image and Painting. Um, and as you can see, it finally finished. Uh, unfortunately, it, it kind of screws up a little bit. You, you guys probably can't see as well since the resolution of the video is not that great, but it does. It doesn't do a perfect job, but it does the job nonetheless. And the final thing that I want to show is the removal of these keys. Something a bit more complex, but it can still be done. And there we go. So now you can see the keys being removed. The algorithm that I propose for my final project for the course is highly dependent on the first algorithm that relies on textures, mainly because I was I was really focused on making sure the algorithm runs quickly. One is one of the biggest issues I ran into doing this project was basically making sure it runs quickly. I think I spent more time waiting for the algorithm to finish than actually implementing uh, algorithms and then uh, modifying modifying testing them and debugging them as necessary. Most time was just simply waiting for the algorithm to finish. And as far as I can see, the textual based one runs a lot faster, even though the the, the partial derivative equation one uh, that's introduced was made to run quickly, at least compared to other partial derivative equation approaches. So there is that. And the whole application, like the intended application from this project was for mobile app for mobile phones basically and I did in fact eventually wrote an app for it however due to the limitations of the phone I was using I was using a Droid 4 um, not the fastest phone in the world and it was an older phone I basically had to tone down a few of the parameters of the algorithm just to make the time waiting bearable and for a computer it's not as bad like as you can you can see it running right now but on the phone I had to do basically grayscale to make sure it runs at a reasonable pace. I did design it such that you see it update. In fact, it's, it uses the same code, actually. It's just that I make the images grayscale. That way, I don't have to check all three channels of an image to get it to run. Uh, another important aspect of the algorithm that you guys are watching is that uh, I designed it such that it doesn't try to check the entire image like when it's uh, deciding on which area to to when it's deciding on which area to reference from when rebuilding the impainted region uh, instead of uh, checking the entire image what it does is it checks an area away from the area that it's trying to replace basically uh, I'm employing the principle of locality now, I'm not sure if that's an established principle but essentially you know the known information is more likely to be closer to the area that you're trying that you're trying to reconstruct you know like say that I'm trying to reconstruct an area like right here you know I'm not gonna it's not gonna be over here chances are you know it's gonna be very close by so why check so far away for that information and uh, as you can see it finished unfortunately it did screw up though it did screw up unfortunately and it does do that and the busier the picture then the more likely it does screw up but you can do simple cases such as this and this basically concludes the video I'll, I, I do intend to post the, the code online at some point I still need to document most of it I mean I have comments right now but I'm planning to use uh, Doxygen to generate actual documentation to make it more bearable and post it to my github I also created a uh, MATLAB implementations of all the algorithms too I even did other in painting algorithms that I didn't show here. For instance, I did implement another one by another author whose name I'm not going to pronounce, but I'll post more information when it comes. Have a nice day.